A memorial to those murdered in the Sand Creek Massacre will be built in Colorado. Democrats believe they have found just the place to put it. Here is Denver 7 political reporter Megan Lopez. There's something renewing about all this snow. A fresh blanket, a fresh opportunity to start over. For months, this concrete slab on the west steps of the state capitol has sat empty. Over the summer, during social justice protests, the Union soldier who sat stoically here for decades was removed. Now lawmakers are considering placing a Sand Creek Massacre memorial there instead. It seemed fitting and appropriate to the moment of social reckoning that we were having to uh, begin the process to approve and put forward the Sand Creek Memorial in that location. You see, the same regiment that was celebrated for their honor in the Civil War was also responsible for that massacre. I just don't understand why that soldier continues to be glorified. I don't understand when what they represent was so wrong. This memorial has been years in the making. I wanted people to see that this woman suffered. She was suffering. I want to put an empty cradle that was depicting that she has lost her child. But lawmakers couldn't agree where to place it. Tribes have fought to have it here because they say this area is important. After the massacre that uh, Shivington and his band of folks came back to Denver, they literally took body parts of the victims of the massacre and paraded them through downtown. Um, and they ended this parade at the location of what is now the West Steps. So for descendants, this monument in this location is a reclamation. We're looking for healing. We want to feel pride again. We want to see something respectful and something with dignity. In a Denver Post op-ed, Republican political consultant Dick Wadhams argued the spot in front of the state capitol should celebrate the best of Colorado and not the worst. What we really need to do is defund the police. He wrote he didn't think it was fair to reward the people who tore the statue down. And while he's okay with the Sand Creek Massacre Memorial, this just isn't the place. On Thursday, the Capital Development Committee considered that proposal. They'll have to sign off on it along with the governor's office and the legislature before anything happens. So for now, this covered up concrete slab will stay. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.